to the woman in apartment 401. I am the one who called the police to come check on you when your boyfriend wouldn't stop screaming at you. I know that the police left a few minutes after talking with you both. You must have told them that you were okay and he yells sometimes. Please know that all couples get in fights, but it is not common or normal for a man to scream at the top of his lungs at someone for over 20 minutes straight. No one should be shouted at that way. A neighbor like you calling 911 is the reason why I am still alive today. Thank you for making that call. I wish someone had told me that when I was in my previous relationship. I know all my neighbors could hear. Thank you for trying to do something. Even though the police didn't stay long, maybe she'll start to realize that if people call the police then maybe it's not normal or okay for him to be like that. Thank you for phoning, when I was a kid, and this happened to my mum, none of our neighbors in our apartment building did anything, even though they could definitely all hear, and were mostly people we considered friends. 33 years later, I still wonder how none of them called the police. I had a neighbor like you that saved my life making that phone call. Thank you, a million times over, for being a lovely human red heart hash. I had to make this call once. Her scream was blood-curdling. It was the most horrible sound I've ever heard. I called the police and they never showed up. I called twice over the next two hours and they never came. The couple moved out a short while after that. I hope she's left him. For real. I'm trying to tell my guy friend that too his girlfriend does this. Shouting and screaming for that long and doing it often are not normal or healthy. I called the police on my neighbor once. He was beating his wife in the garage my bedroom window is adjacent to their garage and the door was wide open. I literally had to do the same thing to my neighbors. I started crying because the dude scared me that bad screaming and such and that was through a wall so I couldn't imagine the woman and her two daughters weren't scared too it also sounded like he threw her down the stairs or something I heard him swearing screaming then a very loud series of sounds then silence I was very scared for her so I called the cops. The officer talked to them for two minutes max then left disappointed face. I was in an abusive situation like this and just sat there wishing for someone to call the cops. Nobody ever did. Thank you for making the call and rescuing that woman red heart hash. If it's a continuous issue, and you decide you want to move, you can get a doctor's note to break your lease. I lived in a place where I listened to that stuff daily, fell into a deep depression. When I finally got fed up and confronted the neighbors, the guy couldn't even make eye contact. I was so furious. Good for you. You're a caring human being looking out for others. I have done this before also it is so scary to hear someone being yelled at like that. My ex-girlfriend screamed at me for 40 minutes straight. I broke up with her eventually, but it's good to know that it wasn't normal or something I deserved because I've wondered if I did the right thing. Gentle reminder that a massive percentage of police are domestic abusers as well. You're a good person. I wish I would have had you for a neighbor when I was with my ex, I might have escaped a lot sooner. Keep up the good work, OP, red heart hash. A woman walking her dog called the police on me and my wife when we were arguing over something on TV, she is very deaf and I have to raise my voice to be heard. Funny thing was he did not even come in we could have hidden a body in the kitchen and he would have not even known. Thank you for making the call. Keep making the calls when not if it happens again. Print this post and give it to her. You can slip a brochure about psychological abuse in her doorstep.